Hello, hello everybody, it is No More, and today we are playing The Sims. Now, normally on my channels, most of my games, if not all, are all story-based games. But hopefully we could create a story or something like that with The Sims. But I'm not going to be doing just like a mini-me series or anything. I'm actually doing like an angel versus devil kind of thing. So, the whole point of this is to see who could live a better life, who could succeed better in life, the angel or the devil. Now here, I have a little family of four. I have two adults and then two toddlers. So let's go around the house and, well, apartment and meet everybody. So let's start from left to right. So the woman here I have is Miss Believer. She is a young adult and a global superstar. And her husband, Mr. Believer, is over here walking. He is also a young adult and also a global superstar. So the, I have the toddlers, the children basically, our main two people that we're going to be watching over growing up and hopefully directing them in life. I have here black hair. Devil. I legitimately named them Devil and Angel. So here's Devil and her trait. Oh, she needs to pee. Go pee. I think she's part. Oh, I think she's peeing in her diaper. Oh, well. But her trait, if I could find it, that's not what I'm looking for. But her trait is fussy, meaning she's throwing tantrums. She's the troublemaker in the family, okay? And now here I have this blonde little girl. Oh, she's sad. Oh, and she's hiding behind the TV too. I'll take care of her later. I'm such a great uh, <laughs> caretaker. I have here Angel. She's obviously Angel. But her trait is angelic. So she's more of a easygoing child. She doesn't throw tantrums. And apparently... She easily talks to strangers, so we're going to have to keep an eye on her. So the whole point of this, let me pause it so we can get things going off. So the whole point of this is to see who succeeds in life better. Is it going to be Angel or is it going to be Little Miss Devil over here? Growing up, I'll make sure to, you know, have them set to their, like, personality traits. Like, you know, Angel, she's going to be a lot nicer and, like, you know more of a goody two shoes type of person while devil is going to be more mischievous and getting herself into trouble but along the way we'll just see how things go and yeah plan things out according to what happens but now I guess I should start putting up their personalities so having devil probably be a lot meaner to her sister angel and having angel try to be nicer to devil see how that works out and yeah so let's see how things go originally I was thinking of doing like a mini me series but then I'm just like eh, I'm a really boring person but nah and her husband's playing in the trash what are you doing you're supposed to be you have a neat trait what I'm very confused okay her husband's okay I'm not gonna focus on that I'm gonna focus more of the kids playing the kids but every now and then I'll probably take care of Mr. and Mrs. Believer. Oh, he's, yeah, no, he's, he's naked there. Okay. Anyway, so we're going to be focusing on more of Devil and Angel and their traits growing up. So they're hungry, they're tired, they're children playing with dollies. Okay, so how do I be mean to our sister? As a child, you can only tell them to go away. <laughs> yeah, go away. I don't want to play with you. Go. Go, Angel. Go, Angel. Yeah, throw a fit. <laughs> Minus their friendship. Ooh, empathy. Yeah, <laughs> dang. We should probably sign their rooms. Okay, so Angel's room is all white, and then Devil's room is all red. Oh. Wait, what? He's dying already? What? What? Why? Stop it. Stop dying. No. 
No! He's dead! <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Believer, do something! Come on! You man dead! What? What? Oh, now the kids are crying. God dang it. No! Oh my god. No! The Green Reaper is walking in. No! Oh my god! What on earth? Oh, uh, now the kids are crying because of the Green Reaper. What are you doing? Stop crying. Well, don't, no, don't want to talk to him. Be like, hey, plead. Yes, plead. Plead. Get your husband. This is... <laughs> oh, I'm so messed up. This is not a good way to start a new series. Come on. You got it? <laughs> plead the Green Reaper. Come on. <gasps> yes! Okay, so he's coming back to life. Oh my god. <laughs> this is too much. Wait. Impassion, please. Wait. Gotta do paperwork. Wait. So when you die, you gotta do paperwork? Or when you're trying to bring someone back the, from the dead, you do paperwork? Don't worry, kids. Your dad's coming back to life. Oh my god. Wow! <laughs> 10 out of 10 play. Well, you better thank him. Thank the Green Reaper for reviving your husband. <laughs> Emotional control. Okay, so I can't click on the Grim Reaper anymore. Okay, is so he gonna leave or is he just gonna stay? What are you doing? Your dad almost died and you're all... <laughs> so, your dad almost died and these kids are just... They cried and now they want to go to bed. Come on! You two, you two are, are grown enough. Grown up. No! I'm so took. What on earth are you doing? Go to bed here. And you go to your white bed. Yes. Thank you. We gotta push each other. Go for it. And why is the Grim Reaper still here? I am very confused. Can I help you, sir? A uh, friendly introduction, I guess, because we're going to be friends with the Green Reaper. Because we're defined beings, because why not? Uh, hello, Mr. Believer, you better say thank you for bringing Grim... Well, the Grim Reaper bringing you back from the dead. Uh, okay, I guess they don't... Mm. Oh, well, that just happened. The Grim Reaper left, finally. Um, <laughs> this really is a great way to start <laughs> the new series. <laughs> Mr. Believer almost died, but we managed to bring him back from the dead. <laughs> and apparently, husband and wife became good friends with each other, even though they're married. Mm. 10 out of 10 gameplay, that's all I could say. Anyways, Devil and Angel are sleeping, so that's good. And I think Mr. and Mrs. Believer should go to bed too. Yep, they're both going to go to bed. I think I should put them to bed anyways. Because it is nighttime in the game. Go to sleep. Everyone needs to sleep. They had a long day. People almost died. But hey, everything's good for now. Hopefully the children won't wake up crying, but so far so good, so hooray. See, Angel is Angel. She's fine. And she's fine. Fire! Oh my god. Are you for real? A fire? Put it out! Wait! He's on fire? Why is everyone on Oh, everyone's gonna die by the end of this play. Everyone's dead. <laughs> she's- oh, don't tell me she's gonna die now. Up, Angel's up. Oh, we got insurance money, though. Oh my, is she on fire? Is she okay? This is not going well. We're gonna replace all the equipment. 
she still needs to cook breakfast because, well, that didn't work out well. So let's try that again for the whole family. Okay, so everyone's at least eating. Angel's fine. Her hunger just needs to go up. She's a little sleepy. Her bladder's eh. She has not that much fun. Devil. Ooh. <laughs> Devil needs a lot of work. She's gonna eat now. Her energy. She has no sleep. We need to bathe her. And she should have some fun. Mr. and Mrs. Believer. They're okay. They can sleep throughout the rest of the day. Oh, boy. <laughs> Not going so well so far, but it's okay. In due time, we'll get used to everything. Well, hopefully. And things will get better soon. After those six days, they'll age up into children. Like, eight, nine-year-olds. And hopefully it'll be better and less stressful to help them and take care of them. That's the word I'm looking for. And then now, guess where sh I'm struggling. <laughs> But it's okay. Okay, Kane's friends. Good friends with her dad. Good job. Always want to become good friends. It's not best friends with your own children. Oh, what's wrong, Devil? Oh, you're angry. Why are you angry? Oh, you're very tired, that's why. Can I give kids coffee? <laughs> Is that how it works? Wait, can she use the coffee maker? No, she can't. Oh, I am very sorry. <laughs> But you're clean! <laughs> it is Monday. Do they have school? When do they have school? Children not available for it, obviously. Do toddlers have school? Hello, I'm... Oh, free earbuds. No, I don't want free earbuds. Oh, thank you. Okay, so let's have Angel go back to bed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, she's like, I don't want to even be up. I want to go back to bed. Heck yeah, me too. Oh, but her shoes. Something's wrong with her, that. Then again, it's CC, so... Okay. Let's see, how's Angel doing? Her bladder... It's going down. She's having one-on-one -on -one time with her father, so that's not bad. Okay, so Devil woke up. And I don't know why... She won't go back to bed. She really won't sleep. I don't know why, but she needs sleep. No! Don't play with the dollies. Go back to bed. And stay in bed. Yeah. You're a hard one. Hard one to control. Huh. Can't control the devil, I guess. Hopefully throughout this entire play, it won't be like that. But we at least need to get her stuff over here up her needs up so that she could probably succeed of life i know that when they get older mr and mrs believer will die and go away i'll have them removed from the apartment so it'll just be angel and devil there and as they grow up whoever whoever dies first loses obviously so hopefully it won't get to that. Hopefully they won't follow in their father's footsteps and die as soon as they start laughing or whatever. Because that's legitimately what he almost died for. Dying from laughter. That's It's crazy, but it happens in The Sims. Okay, so she's sleeping. Her sleep level's not really getting up. That is really slow. Okay, so... Mr. and Mrs. Believer will be working as critics. So one will be an arts critic while the other will be a food critic, I guess. I don't know. I just wanted them to both have in the same field so I didn't have to pay attention to their work hours as much because it would be similar. But they sh they need to make money somehow because they can't keep off and I'm not going to cheat my way to get the money. So, yep, that's what's going to happen. So far, it's been interesting. Alright, so everyone's grabbing a meal, their own food, and... Woman! Why do our neighbors keep coming over to our house, or apartment, just ask for food? Like, you... I'm pretty sure you could cook fine, too. We love to have you join Paragons. No! No clubs. 
No clubs. Eat. Everyone eat. That's all I'm asking for. <laughs> Come on, eat. eat. Oh, her husband's here too. Okay, well, we're gonna ignore them. And look at the nice little family having a nice moment together. Just eating, bonding. Great. Yes, I. No, we don't want to be disturbed by you neighbors. Please leave. All right. Well, as the family's having their little moment together, I think I am going to end today's little play right here so a lot has happened eh, so far very interesting to see how the first play went and i like how it's going so far so even if you guys don't i'm still gonna post because i'm doing whatever i can anyways thanks for those who watch this and see you guys next time Take a lift. <laughs> 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 <laughs>